for various reasons. But however, I do not support implementation of these kinds of measures, as I've said before, until we have more support systems in place, until we have housing first in place, until we have more affordable housing in terms of low-income rentals in place. Because we're not only talking about those who are homeless now. We need to also look a little bit further for those who will become homeless because of various circumstances. As we heard yesterday in our discussion in committee, we have a serious shortage of low-income rental units. There are people just on the verge of becoming homeless. So let's broaden this discussion into the bigger picture of affordable housing. So, you know, I, I think we all understand there is a serious problem. We all understand the implications this has in Waikiki. I don't think there's any one of us who will deny that's in a crisis situation. So I agree we need to do something. But, you know, the fact of the matter is that the homeless issue did not develop overnight. This has been brewing and building for years, I would say even decades. And it's reached a crisis situation. But here we are today trying to find a quick fix. I think we are fooling ourselves to think that we can, we can solve this by making this law. And, you know, we talked about this being one part of the solution. Okay, you know, perhaps. But until we have the other parts in place, we cannot move on this. You know, government, I hate to say, government failed for decades in not addressing the homeless situation. And I don't believe for a minute that we can solve it overnight. This is very difficult. You know, here we are talking about making a law to make it illegal to sit and lie on sidewalks. I mean, that's, that's a sorry state of affairs when we need to do that. But it is where we are.